This front suspension is using a three link design and I have a 50% complete pan hard bar because it's still using PVC pipe and I need to convert that over to DOM. With this front truss build, I wanna put a little extra time into it. I wanna make this thing unique. I wanna make it look really cool. I also wanna put a little bit of a twist on this from just using generic square tube or making some square trusses. And something that's been on my mind has been almost incorporating a skid plate type design into the front of the housing just to help push over any big boulders or rocks and be able to smash them with a lot more confidence. When making a conceptual design like this, one of the first steps is to use cardboard. So you can either run this through CAD or you can use cardboard. And for this design, I'm deciding to go with the cardboard route. I'm essentially gonna sit down in front of the rig and place different cuts of cardboard and continue to cut as much as I can to be able to visualize what I think this is gonna look like. So as you know, cardboard is malleable. You can move it around, it's not rigid, it doesn't really hold straight lines, and that's something that's a bit of a limitation. What I decide to do is instead of cut away some 316 steel and potentially waste that more expensive material, I'm gonna try all this out with some 16 gauge thin sheet metal to be able to at least form out where my bend lines are gonna be, as well as the contours and how that looks up against the housing. I think this axle truss is one of the more complex pieces I've had to design in the last little while because there are so many different shapes, so many different angles, and this has to be able to take a beating. We have got cardboard shrapnel everywhere around here. I think that definitely shows that it's been productive and we're going through some good designs. What I'm currently facing though, is I'm trying to figure out how I want to dial in this top member on the truss. So what I'm going between is trying to understand if I want to run 
with this top section with just a single one on an angle. I kind of was thinking about going with a funky theme of making this unconventional and having an angle on the back of the truss as well. Or I'm considering what my original design was, which is having actually two of these upper splines or, or members on the truss, having them side by side about an inch apart on either end of the axle tube, and then running a top flat section, and then a second angled section, which connects this front face to the top piece. I actually stopped at this point last night so I could sleep on this and try to figure out what I like best. And on my drive home, I think I like having the two splines go across the top of the housing. You'll notice I had to cut away part of my upper three length mount that goes onto my housing. And that's because I did have a different idea of what I was gonna do with my truss when starting this build. But since this build has been going on for so long, ideas change and uh, I am going a different path now. I'm sure my face is just absolutely <laughs> dusted. I've been under the Samurai. I've been doing a ton of grinding, cutting. It's been a mess and it's a mess in the shop, but I am absolutely stoked on how that axle truss looks. It's not done yet. It definitely needs to have some gusseting put inside of it so I can actually smash that things onto some rocks. But for the most part, aesthetically and visually, that's all complete. And I really like the look of it. I just need to now tie that into my center section as well as the passenger side of the truss. So I'm sure you saw that's rough around the edges in a few spots. Um, one is right around the knuckles. So I didn't finish that side on the knuckle because I'm actually gonna tie in a steering stop to that side. And I'm also gonna be putting some mounts for springs there. So I don't really know what that end piece is gonna look like. So I figured before I actually polish it up nice and clean, I'm just gonna leave that raw and open and then I'm able to mess around with that depending on what I do. It's kind of funny looking at the front of this truss seeing the Alpine Fab logo because my rear truss, this build has taken so long that the name of the business has actually changed. It used to be DNS, now it's Alpine Fab. The rear truss says DNS, the front says Alpine. So it's kind of funny in that way. If you are interested in seeing how I built the rear truss, definitely check out the video I'm gonna post up here because I spent a lot of time with building that rear one as well. And I think it shows how much I'm learning with this plasma table 
and getting more confident into the design of the Samurai, because I definitely see some big improvements with this front one based on how I did the rear. So that's it for today, everyone. Thanks for taking along, and we'll see you next time.